Welcome to the Leather Journey. I'm Dex and tonight we continue our wax play series and today we're going to talk a little bit about safety and wax play. Uh, wax play can be a lot of fun. It's relaxing. It can be very erotic. Uh, it can be a little bit edgy depending on what kind of wax and the temperatures that you're working with. Uh, but safety is important. So one of the things that you need to do is make sure that you're not using high temperature candles. Uh, birthday candles burn very, very hot. Don't use birthday candles. As a rule of thumb, don't use any candle that you would buy in a candle store, uh, grocery store, or the Dollar Tree. Uh, if you're using pure paraffin, uh, most emergency candles uh, are pure paraffin or use uh, paraffin that comes out of the canning section at the grocery store. They're just blocks of pure paraffin. So start with pure paraffin. Um, if you're using a crock pot, I recommend using a digital crock pot so you can adjust that temperature. And what is a good temperature for wax play? Well, when you get your wax melted, you wanna take a candy thermometer and measure the temperature of it. The reason being is a candy thermometer can go down into the wax and measure the temperature that's down an inch or two maybe even three inches into the wax that's pooled. Uh, if you use an infrared thermometer, you're just measuring the temperature on the very top of that wax, and that doesn't really give you an adequate in indication of what the temperature of that wax is gonna be when you get a full ladle and you start ladling it on someone, especially if you're ladling on sensitive parts of someone's body. So another way to test, well, let's get back to our temperature thing. Uh, temperatures like anything people that play with wax a lot just like uh, in the kitchen professional chefs sometimes can pull a pan right out of the oven without hot pads because their hands are used to that temperature and they've been conditioned for it it's the same way with a wax bottom if a wax bottom gets waxed regularly and their skin gets used to the temperature they can stand hotter wax than the average newbie that's just learning about erotic wax play. So for the newbies, I recommend you start just about like a warm bath water. So 105 to 110 degrees. Uh, some people might enjoy it up to 115, but I recommend 105 to 110. It's just going to be about 10 degrees warmer than body temperature. And, uh, you're not gonna burn anybody doing that. Uh, once you've got your wax to 110 degrees, then take a ladle, always check it against the inside skin of your forearm before you start using it. Um, so that's it for safety. Use low temperature candles for dripping. If you're using a paraffin bath, use a candy thermometer, check your temperature, always check the, the feel of the wax against your forearm before you actually begin using it. 